so I just I just finished uh, restoring or uh, painting this um, old gas stove that I took out of a um, I took it out of a camper RV and I'm bringing it to my boat I'm putting it on my boat I just finished painting it these are all the parts painted individually um, the top this, here's the front door so I finished painting all of them individually and I'll tell you how I did it first of all I sanded down all the exposed places once you install it a lot of it gets hidden in the cabinetry so I sanded down all the exposed places like here um, originally it was uh, some sort of bare metal it was like a coated they were going for the stainless steel look but it was not stainless steel it was like a coated metal um, and uh, so I sanded it all down really thoroughly that's why it's a little messy still inside there um, with uh, 80, 100 and then 120 grit sandpaper and then after I sanded it all down I wiped it down and washed it down and then I put two coats of uh, this self etching primer you can buy right at Home Depot and it you know it says right here that it stops rust so it's a self etching primer slash rust inhibitor so the rust won't come back and then after I did two coats of that I switched over to this appliance paint it's an epoxy paint I don't know how good the epoxy is but it's a really really hard paint that can withstand high temperatures and it's an appliance paint in this sense this is an appliance um, so I put uh, two coats of that on as well so it's still wet but it looks pretty good right now um, and I'm just gonna wait 24 hours for it to dry and then it may maybe even longer than 24 hours and then I am going to um, uh, install it on the boat so I'll keep you posted